We've been talking a lot about it. The 22nd annual Fargo-Moorhead St. Patrick's Day Parade is happening tomorrow. <laughs> here to tell us about all the great activities. Don Martin and Ellen Molly, to both of you, thanks so much for being here. Thank uh, you. Do you guys want to start off with a little Irish jig? We, we should finish with an Irish yes, jig. All right, we'll finish, finish with one. Okay. Yes, otherwise we might just take over the whole segment. So we, we talked about when it starts tomorrow, 1 o'clock, but I think what many people don't realize is that you guys are getting a bunch of donations to put this on. It's not like it just shows up out of yep. magic. So tell us more about yep, that. We're 100% volunteer, uh, our organization is, and we rely 100% on the donations that come in. And throughout the years, you know, we've been... Um, resting on our laurels, but now recently, in the last few years, I mean, the funding is, is pretty hard to, to come in to get this. And it's not a cheap, to put on a parade, it's not very yeah. cheap. You have insurance and everything else that goes on, the barricades, and to pay everyone that needs to be there. So it's, it's a pretty expensive thing to do every year, and it's getting bigger. Every year it gets bigger. So you have to do more to, to, to more flair to, mm -hmm. to get it going. So we rely heavily on all those sponsorships. So. So if people are out there thinking, okay, now I got to make sure that I can, you know, donate, how can they do that yeah. to help continue the parade? Yep, they can go to our website, fmstpats.com. They can go to our Facebook pa uh, page. Um, we have a GoFundMe um, account that they can go and donate as well. Um, and so uh, we look forward to that. And every year we actually ask, can we do it next year? Because we have to look at what, how much money we have left, and we usually mm -hmm. don't have that much left. So it's almost a year-to-year -year basis to see if we can actually hold it. So. So what are some of the special things that are going to be happening tomorrow? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day, as we know, Lisa yeah. told us. And then um, we're going to be having um, more than 70 groups down there and two dance groups, uh, the Haney's and Marie McDonald's group. And nice. we're going to have the Derby Girls. Yes. And, yes. and um, the Pipers, the Piper, yep, Fire, the fire Department, EMS. There's going to be the flags, the everything. And, and so. above all, the families coming together, the children, mm -hmm. all that. We want yeah. the street just filled with green and happiness and joy. And we're going to have so much fun. I think so too. And we're getting a little look at, you know, from previous years. <coughs> at the parade. Yes, yeah. And all the queens and. I think that's what's so fun is you can line up with your family and. <laughs> I do love the families that are part of the parade, too, because they each get to kind of make their own they clan, do. clan unique. Yep. <laughs> yep, exactly. And they separate so they can see exactly where they and come from. And that's how it's been for 22 years. Wow. Yes. Oh, there. Okay, here they come. There. <laughs> yeah, there's Bonnie Haney. Love that. Yeah. So do you know how the, the parade got started? No. How did it get started? you got to tell them. I love the story. You, <laughs> you gotta, love the story? You gotta, you gotta, I love the story, so you got to tell <laughs> Okay. We moved here from Minneapolis, and uh, our son, Dan, wanted um, to have a, um, wanted to go to St. Paul for the parades where he had, where always had gone before. Mm -hmm. And then we, we couldn't do that. And so we had a little parade in our neighborhood around the block. And the children came for Tree Star House. And we still have the banner, the original banner. And then as he was growing up, the parade started getting bigger. And then we ended up on Broadway. And then with, with, with the support of Brian Quigley and Maggie Rainier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just think it's so fun, and like we said, too, I mean, there's music, there's dancing, and there's just a lot of smiles when you're out at the parade. And candy. And candy. <laughs> Lots of candy. <laughs> Maybe a couple people in the audience doing some jigging. Could there's be. There's a lot of that, yes. Yeah, yeah. A lot so, of happiness. So for people who are wondering, Chris asked this question, 1 p.m. is what time the parade starts. Mm -hmm. What time do you need to start lining up? The lineup starts at 10 o'clock. Um, wow. OB parking lot because a lot of people like to go. It's a first come first serve in the lineup, so people like to come early to get the best spot in the lineup. So we start allowing people to come in at 10 o'clock, and they start to they play music in the parking lot, so everyone's getting in the groove and getting into the the spirit of the of the parade. So it's an awesome event. It's just starting fun at 10. So going around welcoming everybody and. Um, yep. The energy is good. And then to really get the energy off is right at, at 1 o'clock oh, yes. is the Lake Agassiz Pacers start their 5 and 10K in children's run. Every mm. year they start off right in front of us. The runners go down right in front. That's the signal the parade started. When you see the runners coming, it's time for the parade. Yeah, I so. pull out my whistle and away we go at 1 o'clock. <laughs> nice. So it, the pipers behind us. It doesn't start until you blow the whistle, right? <laughs> That's how, how it's been, yeah. That is so cool. I know. <laughs> So where is the best spot in the parade, then, to, in your opinion, for those people who are part of the parade? Mm, you know, there's, there, I'd say there's some amateurs in there that they throw the can too much candy too quick. Yeah. So a lot of people <laughs> like to go at the very few, first few blocks so they can get the most candy. 
But we tried to tell people, if you're throwing candy, sparingly do it throughout, so you have candy throughout the route. So. And you're taking a look at the route right now on your oh. screen. Yes. So it goes up Broadway, starting over on NP Avenue. Yes. And it goes all the way up and turns on 4th, and that's where the that's parade is. That's a little different. Yep. Yeah. That we've done so, before on 4th. Yep. In the past mm -hmm. years, we've uh, gone all the way up to 6th Avenue North. Mm -hmm. wow. And uh, this year, we've changed it because the Lake Agassi pa uh, Pacers run basically the same route. Okay. So we wanted to keep the routes the same mm -hmm. and uh, limit the amount of road closures that we had to do. So we just basically are marching up the same path as the racers. So. Yeah, and maybe you do want to end up at the end because yeah. I know when we've walked in parades, I sometimes try yeah, to go exactly. too sparingly yeah. and at the end I just hand over bags of yeah. candy. Who wants to take candy home? So you got to right. throw it out <laughs> when you're in the parade. Just so. keep, here, yeah. here's a whole bag for you. And we'll have a yep. whole wagon uh, that uh, my grandchildren have and, and little Danny will probably sitting on it besides throwing it, eating some on the way. <laughs> How many people are going to be in your part of the parade? How many family members do you have coming out for your... I haven't counted, but oh. there'll be quite a bit from, from the Twin Cities, too, so... Oh, that's and, nice. You have to make sure yeah. to wave and that the when she dominating. passes by. Should we do a little jig out? Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, don't forget that you can join us tomorrow at yeah. the parade. <laughs>